It's a big story. A man accused of going on a robbery and murder rampage seven years ago is now pleading guilty. Michael Crane is accused of killing three people, including a couple in Paradise Valley, and setting their homes on fire. Crane has become known in recent years for his wild outbursts in court while defending himself. Team 12's Michael Doudna joins us live from the Alert Center with the change of plea. Michael? Guys, Crane's guilty plea comes just months after doctors deemed he was competent to stand trial and for pleading guilty, he will avoid the death penalty, but hopefully provide some sort of closure to the family of those hurt by these brutal killings. It was devastating when when they were both murdered. Neighbors remember Lawrence and Glenna Shapiro as their house sits vacant, a reminder of the philanthropist couple who used to host them. Nice neighbors, quiet, always invited us to their Christmas Eve party. There hasn't been a Christmas party for seven years. The door boarded up, weeds growing as the police tape may be gone, but signs of the horror, like smoke stains on the bedroom window, still remain. I smelled burning wood that morning. Police say Michael Crane bound together Lawrence and Glenna, shooting them and setting fire to their bedroom, leaving their bodies to burn. The name you're using, that's a fictional name. That's not my name. Since then, Michael Crane has made headlines in court for his outburst as a self-proclaimed sovereign citizen. I don't have a contract in this court. These are your laws, not my laws. These are your rules, not my rules. The trial has dragged on for years as neighbors have waited on a resolution. And with Crane now pleading guilty, he'll avoid the death penalty, but not justice. With neighbors hoping this news will put an end to the horror and provide some sort of relief to the families. Hopefully it'll bring some sense of closure for the family. So. A judge will sentence Michael Crane for the three murders in March. Of course, we'll keep you posted. We're live in the Alert Center. Michael Doudna, 12 News at 10. All right, Michael, thank you.